We got a minute left. Let's go. Pick up the pace a bit. Pick up the pace. So this is a Zami drill, and it's a, it's a warm-up game we use to deal with multiple attackers. Although the odds of being attacked by zombies are slim, having to use self-defense in a dangerous situation could happen to anybody. And from here, you can release and back off. Around the world, things are happening. People are traveling more to other countries. People go missing. Pe things happen. Uh, even in Edmonton today, we had a couple of assaults last week. Uh, pe one girl in the alley, one girl at a parking lot. Things happen out of the blue for no reason. That no reason factor is why these self-defense students are learning Krav Maga. Lift me back and he's going to pull me up off the ground. So when I'm here, I lean forward, go to lift. <laughs> Much harder because I'm so light. I've been coming to Krav Maga for about two years. I do like the, uh, the way that the moves are made so simple for being how effective they are. Anybody can learn it because it deals with your natural motions as much as possible. Attack and we move off the line and scan. So you don't have to spend years and years training. <laughs> Release, done. So that's how simple it is. Saving time on learning various techniques is why many of these participants keep coming back. Let's go, boom, and out. It's really applicable. Someone my size can actually defend themselves against any kind of attacker or attackers. It's something you can do from like any, any kind of circumstance, any kind of position, anything like that. Pluck, kick, attack, move off the line. Well, in my case, um, I do a lot of world traveling. So I like it to have it for peace of mind while I'm traveling, as well as it's just good to know in case of anything ever did happen. Lift, hook, drive, leg up, and attack, attack, oh. and out. In Edmonton, I'm Alexa McLean. Good one. <laughs>